Hi, my name is Carlos, and in today's video, we are going to explore a very often requested feature in Microsoft 365, sending emails from an alias. Whether you are a professional looking to manage multiple email addresses, or simply want to enhance your email experience, this capability can make your life much easier. But what exactly is an alias, and why it is so useful? An email alias is essentially an alternative email address that you can use alongside your primary address. It looks and functions just like any other email address, but all messages sent to your alias are delivered to your main inbox. This means that you can manage multiple email identities without the hassle of maintaining separate accounts or logging in and out of different inboxes. So, why is this capability so useful? Let's explore a few scenarios where using aliases can significantly improve your email experience. If you are a professional juggling multiple roles or businesses, aliases can be a game changer. You can create unique aliases for each role or business and easily filter and organize incoming emails based on the alias used. This will help you stay organized and also present a more professional image to clients and colleagues. Have you ever signed up for a newsletter or online service that end up flooding your inbox with promotional emails? With aliases, you can create dedicated email addresses for specific purposes. For example, you can have an alias for online shopping, another for newsletter subscription, and yet another for personal communication. This way, if an alias starts receiving spam or unwanted messages, you can simply disable it without affecting your primary address. If you are part of a team or organization, aliases can streamline communication. However, for this particular case, I can also suggest using similar tools like share mailboxes and distribution groups. Here, I have a couple of videos that explain how to use them and send them up. So let's now jump to our computer and see the practical step of creating, enabling, sending, and replying from analysis in Microsoft 365. In this part of the video, we will see how to create an alias in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, enabling sending from alias in Exchange Admin Center, sending emails from an alias in Outlook Online, and sending emails from an alias in Outlook Desktop. So let's start by accessing the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We will need to use a account that has the admin role. We enter our username and click on Next and my password and click on Sign In. Within our Microsoft account, we need to click on the admin icon. Then we need to click on the three little dashes on the upper left corner to expand the menu. Then click on Users and then Active Users. It will show all the users within Microsoft 365 subscription. Then we're going to select this user to add a new alias. We click on it. To the right, we'll see all the details about this user and we will find a section called Aliases. And we have the option here Manage Username and Email. Here we will have the primary email address for this user, and below we will see all the aliases that we have added for this user. And then we are going to add a new alias. We need to click here on this box and we enter the new alias that we want to create. The new alias that I'm going to create is going to be support at itb.cloud, which is my primary domain name. By the way, if I have more than one domain name, I will be able to click here on this little arrow and I will be able to create an alias under a different domain name. Then we need to click on Add. Down below, we will find a new alias, support at itb.cloud, and then click on Save Changes. The alias has been added and saved. And if I scroll down, I will see it here. So this is how we can add or create alias for any user. 
Let's go now to enable sending from alias in Exchange Admin Center. We can close here, and then we will click again on the upper left corner on the three dashes, and then we click on Show All. If we scroll down in the menu, we'll find Exchange. It will give us access or take us directly to the Exchange Admin Center. We click on it. Within the Exchange Admin Center, we will be able to expand the menu here in case we don't see it. Then we will click on Settings. Then on the right, we will see Mayflow. We click on here, Mayflow. On the right, we will see this option, Turn on Sending from Aliases. In this case, we have already enabled this option. That's why it is already checked. If it is unchecked, it will be off. In this case, we want to leave it on. And then we click on Save. This will enable the option to send from aliases. It is important to know that this option may take some time to actually be enabled. In my case, the first time that I enabled it, I had to wait about two hours. Let's go now to Outlook Online. We will create an email and we will send from the alias that we just created. We can click here, Closed, and we will go back to our Microsoft account and then we click on Outlook. It will take us to Outlook Online or Outlook on the web. To start writing an email, we click on New Email. And here we have the option From. If we don't see this field, From, we will need to click on Options. And then we will be able to select Show From. Then we can click on From, and we can select where we want to send the email from. We want to send the email from the recently created alias, which is Support. Then we go down, and we click here, All the email addresses. And then we type the email alias. We press Enter. We enter the email address where we want to send the email to, and we write a subject, and we just enter Test. Then we can click on Send. Our email from the alias Support has been sent. If we move over the recipient inbox, we'll find the email here. And if we open, we will see that it is coming from Support at itb.cloud, which is the alias that we created. We will now see how to do the same, I mean, how to send an email from an alias using Outlook on your desktop. We will now open Outlook on our desktop, and we will write a new email. We click in here, New Email, and we have this section of fill here, From. If for any reason we don't see it, we can click on Options, and then click on From. By clicking here on From, we will see it here within the new email. Then we can click on the little arrow. Since we haven't sent any email from this alias in Outlook Desktop, we can click here, all the email addresses. And then we write the email alias, support at itb.cloud. Then we click OK, and we will see it here in the field from. We enter the email address of the recipient we want to send the email to, and we enter a subject, new test from an alias. In the body, we just enter test. Then we click on send. Our test email has been sent. We can now go again to the Google account that is our recipient, and we can see here the new email that we sent from support. New test from alias. If we open it, we will see here support at itb.cloud. So the next time that I'm going to send a new email from Outlook Desktop, we will see the field from here. And we will also see the email address support at itb.cloud, which is our new alias. As we said before, be aware that enabling sending from alias could take up to two hours, sometimes more. So, as you can see, the ability to send emails from aliases in Microsoft 365 offers a wealth of benefits. It enhances your productivity, improves organization, and provides a personalized and professional touch to your email communication.
Thank you for joining us today as we explore the power of email aliases in Microsoft 365. If you find this helpful, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.